Hey guys, today we are talking about integers, opposites, and absolute value. Our learning target is I can identify a number, its opposite, and its absolute value. Just a reminder, an integer is all whole numbers and their opposites. So that means it can be negative numbers and it can be positive numbers. It's not fractions, it's not decimals. Absolute value is the distance the number is from zero. And it's the distance it is from zero on a number line. And it, absolute value is always positive. Distance cannot be negative. So, for example, if I were comparing 4 and negative 4 and trying to find the absolute value of both, I see that 4 right here This is four units, I forgot to change my setting back, four units from zero. And then if I go the other direction to negative four, this is also four units from zero. All right, so let's practice below finding the absolute value of each of these. So I'm finding the absolute value of negative three. The distance it is from zero is going to be three. So my absolute value is three. Basically, when it's a negative number, it is the opposite of it. If it's a positive number, then it's just whatever the number is, is the distance from zero. So negative 23, my absolute value would be 23. It's 23 units away from zero. Distance is not negative, so the negative would go away. Absolute value of negative 65 is 65. Absolute value of 75 is 75. Although it is positive, its distance is still 75 away from zero. What is the opposite of negative 22? That is going to be positive 22. What is the opposite of 125? That is going to be negative 125. Write an integer that represents 65 meters below sea level. So in a real world problem, we think of sea level as zero. Anything above sea level is positive. Anything below sea level is negative. So 65 meters below sea level is negative 65 meters. Jessica made $45 babysitting. Write an integer that represents this situation. So if she made $45, that means she's gaining $45, so it's going to be positive. Number nine, what is the opposite of 37? That is going to be negative 37. Number 10, opposite of negative 54, is going to be 54. Number 11, Zachary owes his mom $20. Write an integer to represent this situation. So he owes money. So that means that he has 
less than zero because he owes somebody. So the integer would be negative $20. Think about if you pulled more money out of your bank account than you have, then you have a negative number less than zero because you didn't have that money. All right, lastly, number 12. Can absolute value, can the absolute value of a number be negative? The answer is no. Distance cannot be negative. All right, guys, thanks for watching.